Hello, my name is Ocean Wong, and this is On Earth, We're Briefly Gorgeous. This story is told in the form of a letter from a grown son to his mother, but she can't read it. He doesn't send it. Can you tell us a little bit about that? It seems like this futile act, this message in a bottle thrown into the ocean, part of the pun, <laughs> um, which will never be found. And, but I think that, that crisis of language, that crisis of communication is actually something we as a country experience, particularly in this modern era. You know, questions like, does my voice matter? Does my vote count? Will I be heard? Tell us about this title. It was also the title of a poem that you've written. What's the relationship between the poem and this novel? I think I wrote the novel because I felt that one genre wasn't enough to satisfy the questions that I had. And those questions were? What does it mean to inhabit an American body when we have to reckon with American violence? And I just felt so arbitrary that 85 pages of poetry in paperback satisfies that question. And so I thought if I extended the same questions in a different domain, would I surprise myself? Would I find anything new? And, and I did, luckily. On Earth, we're briefly gorgeous. What, what does it mean? You know, I think that we're beautiful from birth to death, and our lives are so brief on this, the history of planet Earth. To be beautiful from birth to death is still to be beautiful, only briefly. And, and that's part of the fleeting nature of, of, of the book. I really love that, you know, and, and, and to carry a nod from the poems into the novel was a way to honor my practice in both lineages. Do you think writers are interpreters, particularly poets? Language is interpretation. You know, everything filters through the senses, and now the task of the writer is turn this abstract, weightless, you know, medium into something that reckons and looks familiar to real life. As much as we try to do that, I also think there's some relief in thinking that we can never really achieve it. Language only comes close, and coming close is, is enough, I think. Ocean, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Mary Laura. It's a deep pleasure. And thank you for joining us for A Word on Words. I'm Mary Laura Philpot. Keep reading. He once told me, that the human eye is God's loneliest creation. How so much of the world passes through the pupil and still it holds nothing. The eye alone in its socket doesn't even know there's another one just like it an inch away, just as hungry, as empty. <laughs>